Hello and welcome to Showtime 112. We're back with our F5 after a small break. We're flying a mission that's not uh, historical but rather hypothetical this time. Uh, however, I believe that it is rooted in reality. Uh, as you may know, Mexican drug cartels are the most powerful ones in the world and the Mexican government is fighting um, practically an open war against them. Now this war um, kind of reminds me of the American War on Terror which commenced in 2001. There, there are quite a few similarities. For one thing you have the opponent uh, which uses fear as its primary weapon. You have the opponent, opponent which is uh, really hard to find because it's blended really well within the society. And therefore things such as uh, rules of engagement and collateral damage become really, really important. Now I was thinking, uh, what if Mexican government uh, had a chance to sort of decapitate the cartel by eliminating some of its leaders in a precise airstrike? Kind of like uh, the action against Osama bin Laden. Um, now, would they would they take the chance and, and just go ahead and do it? Uh, I suppose you know if if they did, it might look something like this. Uh, now we have taken off from uh, Santa Gertrudis Air Base in Sausillo, Chihuahua State, and we are heading towards the town of uh, Parao. Uh, there, um, a suspected meeting between the heads of the cartel is taking place. We know the location, we have a small special forces group which uh, is on site and which is going to provide forward air control function and lays the target for us. We are armed with two uh, laser guided bombs, 500 pound laser guided bombs and if they hit the target precisely, they should be more than adequate in destroying the building. Uh, there are also uh, indications of a helicopter parked in the vicinity, so if any of the um, drug cartel members should be able to survive the attack, they'll probably try to escape by helicopter. In this case, we are authorized to shoot the helicopter down. Anyway, we will be informed by the uh, special operation team on the ground if anything like this should happen. Anyway, we are heading south. And once we approach the location, we will contact the special operations team and coordinate the attack with them. Right, we have established contact with the uh, forward air controller team on the ground. They can see the target. And when we approach further within the range, we will contact them again and tell them to turn the laser designator on. We will then uh, commence a shallow dive towards the target, release the bombs, observe the effects then come to lower altitude uh, and see 
if that helicopter decided to take off and escape. Okay, the target is being laced. Now we have to do is find the location and release the LGBs in the basket above the target. Should be on our side of the river. Okay, diving at the target. It's right ahead of us. Bombs released. All right, we can see hits. Apparently our bomb scored good hits. Now we're descending to lower altitude just to verify more closely. Getting the sidewinders ready. Alright, the helicopter is taking off, which means we'll have to chase it. Okay, there's the rotor. Taking off right now. I think we'll make another turn and then get behind it. Okay, the helicopter is just ahead of us. The missile will probably not get it, but let's try anyway. No, 
I don't think it's guiding. We have to gun it. All right. It is down. If any of those drug lords survived the laser guided bombs, certainly won't survive this shoot down. job is basically done. All we have to do is turn north and go back to our base. Okay, we're back over our base. Just check out if the runway is clear, make an overhead break and land. All right, we're back in our base. We have landed successfully. Now the investigation will show whether the actual drug lords, heads of the of the narco cartel, were were present in the building that we destroyed and in in the helicopter that we shut down. But uh, from our part. We have certainly performed everything as expected. Now if you liked the video, which I hope you did, don't forget to press the like button. Uh, this is very important for the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. A lot more videos are coming up. And keep watching us. Bye, everyone.